Hi, my name is Emma and I'm an Accessible Travel and Disability Lifestyle Blogger. I have Lingardal Muscular Dystrophy, which is a progressive muscle wasting condition, which means that I'm a full-time power wheelchair user. I'm excited to have taken part in a campaign run by Hex Productions designed to highlight the issues surrounding digital accessibility on the run-up to the public sector compliance deadline on 23rd of September 2020. Hex Productions are experts in adapting websites for optimal accessibility because they believe in the value of full digital accessibility as it enables independence for everyone. What does good digital accessibility mean to you? Having a physical disability um, that affects the muscles in my arms means that I often prefer to use my phone um, just out of pure convenience and ease, um, especially for certain tasks like replying to an email, um, browsing a website or like filling in a form. So to me, good digital accessibility means being able to access information that I need quick and easily um, and that requires little physical effort. It also means that I need a website um, and information to be compatible with different devices, such as my phone, uh, rather than computer-based. What are the common barriers to digital accessibility that you face? The most common barriers to digital accessibility that I face um, is when websites are difficult to navigate or are not mobile friendly. This is especially important um, if I'm going out um, if I'm visiting organisations or attending hospital appointments, going shopping or whatever it is that I want to do. I may have to look up access information there and then, um, such as finding out if the building or public transport is accessible, where the nearest accessible toilet is. Um, so I do rely quite heavily on being able to access a website and find the information that I need. What are your top three digital accessibility must-haves? One, voice recognition. Two, clear, easy to read text with headings, a nice design and images. And three, mobile friendly. Have you ever found it impossible to access information on a website? And what do you do in those circumstances? I've lost count of how many times I've not been able to access information on our website. Um, as a travel blogger, I often book hotels and transportation, um, visit attractions. So a lot of the time there is no accessibility information on the website, especially for hotels. And this is also the case for like music venues because I've got a lot of gigs as well. Um, so I need to know if the venue is accessible um, and what facilities they have. So having a section with clear detailed access information with images of the accessible rooms or the disabled facilities is vital for disabled people. It's also important that there is a good accessibility statement on the website um, and that it can be easily found. If I can't find accessibility information on a website then I immediately leave the website. In these circumstances, I don't feel welcome or valued. If you had the chance to make one point to an organisation considering changing their website, what would it be and why? Accessibility shouldn't be an afterthought. With more than 14 million disabled people in the UK, that's 22% of the UK's population, um, it's extremely important that products and services are fully accessible online for everyone to access. Good digital accessibility creates independence, greater user satisfaction and an all-round better experience for everyone. To find out more and to join the Digital Accessibility Matters campaign, just click the link in my bio and let us know about the barriers that you face in regards to public organisation websites.